Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I'm really excited about today's video. Today we're going to talk about one of the changes in the 2023 NEC that is going to make a significant change. So starting in the 2020, we brought in the idea of having the emergency disconnect. It's now code required. You have to have an exterior emergency disconnect. So there are no more back-to-back -back meter onlys like we've had for forever. Well, in the 2023, they've stepped it up a notch. Now, not only for services do you have to have that disconnect, but now for feeders, you have to have that emergency disconnect. And let me explain what I mean. A feeder would be anything, feeder or branch circuit, would be anything on the load side of the service. So let's say that you had a pole 100 feet away from the home, and that's where the service disconnect was. Well, in previous codes, that would suffice for the disconnect for the structure. Now, of course, you'd have to meet other codes, but you, you could use that as your service disconnect and be the disconnect for the structure. Now, there is a brand new code section in 225.41 in the 2023 NEC, and what it states is, is that now you have to have an additional disconnect mounted on the structure. Now, many inspectors may have required you to do this in the past anyways, but now it's code. So let's say I have a service disconnect 100 feet away, I have my structure over here, now you're required to have a another disconnect on the structure or within sight of the structure. And within sight is a definition back, back in Article 100. Within sight is capable of being seen and within 50 feet. So let's say you had a disconnect 100 foot away, you could technically come within 50 foot of the house and put another disconnect and that serve as the disconnect for the structure. It must be marked emergency disconnect and it must be on the structure or within 50 feet. This is a big change and I look for more changes like this to continue to happen as we grow farther into safety. I think you should be able to shut off the power to any structure from the exterior, not only for the homeowner's sake, but also for firemen, emergency, and things like that. I am the Electrical Code Coach and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.